As the World Cup edges closer, we continue our rundown of all 32 nations competing in Russia. After rounding off Group B with a preview of Iran on Saturday, it's time to delve into Group C, starting with Euro 2016 finalists France. Les Blues will hope to go one better in Russia and are one of the pre-tournament favourites, for good reason. France's 23-man squad is packed with star quality. In fact, Didier Deschamps has so many world-class players at his disposal that he was forced to leave the likes of Anthony Marshall, Alexander Lacazette and Adrian Rabiot out. Up against Australia, Denmark and Peru in Group C, France should have little problem progressing to the knockout stages. However, France have actually fallen at the first hurdle in two of the last four World Cups and always seem susceptible to meltdowns. This could prove a make-or-break tournament for Deschamps, as the 49-year-old has divided opinion among supporters during his six-year spell in charge of the French national team. Many have questioned whether Deschamps is tactically astute enough to get the best out of his players and it will continue to be a talking point until he delivers their first trophy since 2000. The main problem for Deschamps will be how he gets the best out of the likes of Paul Pogba, Kylie and Mbappe and Antoine Griezmann this summer. Pogba has endured a difficult season for Manchester United but is expected to hold down a place in France's midfield while the positioning of Mbappe and Griezmann may need work during their pre-tournament friendlies. Griezmann has been in stunning form for Atletico Madrid since the turn of the year. The 27-year-old scored in every knockout round of Atletico's Europa League triumph, even netting two goals in the final against Marseille last week. In fact, he has scored or assisted 28 goals in 26 appearances in all competitions in 2018 and is good value to repeat the feat of finishing as top scorer of a major tournament, as he did at Euro 2016. Deschamps likes to pair Griezmann up front with Olivier Giroud, which means Mbappe may have to settle for a starting place out wide. While Mbappe's preferred position is through the middle, he has become accustomed to a wide berth at Paris Saint-Germain this season. The 19-year-old's first season at PSG was a relative success, although he didn't set the world alight as many may have hoped. After becoming the second most expensive player of all time last summer, Mbappe has at least coped well with the pressure of the price tag. Nevertheless, there is still much more to come. France are stacked on the right side of midfield, but less so on the opposite flank, which is particularly problematic now Dimitri Payet has been ruled out of the World Cup. The Marseille creator would have started for France, but Deschamps will now have to find a solution. Thomas Lemar would normally replace Payet but the Monaco ace has failed to hit top gear this season, leaving Deschamps with plenty to ponder. Could Pogba be an option on the left of midfield? Payet was the surprise package for France at Euro 2016, but who will emerge as a star for Les Blues this? Time around? Nabil Fakir will likely have to settle for a place on the bench this summer, but the 24-year-old will be confident of making an impact when called upon. The Lyon captain has just concluded his finest season as a professional, finishing with 18 goals and 8 assists in 30 League One appearances. Not only that, but only Florian Thivon, 13, won the Who Scored Man of the Match award more times than Fakir in League One this term, 12. France could feasibly set up a repeat of their Euro 2016 final with Portugal at the quarterfinal stage this summer if everything goes to plan. However, barely does that happen and Deschamps side could even end up facing Argentina in the round of 16. In any case, France will be expected to come through those games and reach the final, otherwise Deschamps will have a lot to answer for once again.